So this is the movement assessment battery for children, the second edition. Um, this test is for ages 3 to 12. And so with that being said, you need to understand that the children aren't going to understand those big terms. They're not going to understand that you need to uh, convert their scores into percentiles so you can compare it to the norms of other children. Um, so you can just kind of, at the end of the assessment, you can kind of breeze over that and tell them you'll get in contact with their parents or teachers. But to start, what you want to do is you want to greet the students, um, have them come in, and then kind of get them feeling comfortable. So ask them a couple questions, you know, like what is um, motor movement? You can tell them that motor movement is like your like your big muscles, like your arms and your legs or your small muscles with your fingers. Um, tell them that the assessment's going to take about 30 minutes and then they can get back to class. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to administer the test and the test is there are some like um, object skills, some uh, static and dynamic balances. Um, there's going to be like manual dexterity skills. So for that, it'll be posting coins, th um, throwing beads or like recreating a drawing. Um, for your uh, big muscles, it's going to be um, throwing and catching. So they'll throw a beanbag, they'll catch a beanbag. And then for their balances, you'll have them balance on one leg. Then you'll have them switch. And then you'll have them walk on their heels. And then you'll have them like jump on a mat. And then after that, like I said, you, um, the, well, the test is on a checklist. And so you need to checklist, um, watch what they're doing and assess it from the checklist. And then at the end, you can, um, tell them, you know, I don't really have the results right now. I will get back with you and your parents. But uh, the results of the assessment need to be converted. Um, the score needs to be converted to a percentile. And then you can compare the percentile to the norms of other children.